Edward Mulbridge um, took a series of steel cameras and he put them around a track. And uh, he was, he was, uh, there was a wager, there was a bet that a horse that moved at a certain speed, at some point, all four of the, the horse's legs leave the ground. So, Mulbridge was, was uh, convinced that the horse did leave the ground, that at some point his, his feet, when he was running, all four feet left the ground. So what he did is he took a series of uh, steel cameras, he put them around a the track, right? And he photographed the running of a horse, and then when he caught that one image, he won the bet. Uh, but he discovered this uh, invention, what's called the Zupraxio, Zupraxiscope, <laughs> which is a device that photographs uh, a successive phase of movement to replicate motion. Um, it was Mulbridge's discovery that led to uh, the interest in America later on. It, this caught the attention of, of uh, American filmmakers and photographers. And they said, yeah, that's kind of cool. We probably could do the same thing, you know. And 1891, which is sort of a jump, uh, Thomas Edison uh, invents the motion picture camera and the motion picture viewer. Now, I have a little, uh, I, I'm sort of like uh, uh, beside myself about this one point in, in history because there was a, there were two brothers that lived in France called the Lumiere brothers. Uh, we'll talk more about them uh, next week. Um, they came up with a device called the Magic Lantern. The Magic Lantern was a device that actually looked like a, a projector where you could put like a glass slide inside of it and it could project an image, right? Uh, that basically was, was basically to me was the first discovery for the motion picture, for the motion picture uh, projector, you know, for the viewer. Um, because later the Lumiere brothers took like a, they they made a device based on the same idea of uh, somebody taking like a card and stick, sticking it in the spokes of a bicycle wheel. You know, how you stick a card in there and it makes that little flapping noise. What they decided to do is they said we took several images and we strung them out so that they thought if they took like uh, several pictures and strung them out and then put this on a giant wheel where it actually was held together and they had like one little piece of metal like a spoke like a bicycle spoke that actually would stop uh, that one projection or that one <coughs> image, one at a time, they could put a crank on the other side and they could crank it and they could make the, the little projections come across one at a time. And if they cranked it fast enough, it would create the illusion of motion. And I think, I, I really think that they were the ones, not as they came up with the first motion. You know, I think they were the first one, I think. Uh, but, you know, needless to say, they lived in France. So, you know, I mean, as Americans, as I get more credit than Americans. That's just, that's just a fact. Uh, during this period, um, the very first animations, believe it or not, uh, were stop motion, what they call stop motion animations, the very first ones. The very, the ones that actually, to this day, what critics actually say look like animations, you know. Um, there are some, uh, some, some animations or some, some uh, uh, images that we're going to see uh, done by several different uh, early animators. And they, they swore to look like animation, but really not. But it was the stop motion stuff, excuse me, that actually uh, propelled the American uh, filmmakers right into animation. And, uh, most, of those, most of those early animators were pretty much known as cartoonists and not animators. Uh, they say in the interest of the idea of animated engine, Images existed before the 20th century and the 19th century. Moving slides uh, in magic lanterns created animated images for audiences. Uh, images were put on glass slides, uh, lit up by, by a lantern projected to tell a story. Um, they also had multiple lanterns. Uh, they also had rotating discs. Now, what we're going to see in, in the first video um, are the rotating discs and the wheels. And uh, you got to remember, like I said earlier, 
somebody actually did pay money to go and see this. Mm -hmm. Now, you and I probably wouldn't have thought it was that amazing, but during the time period, you know, when there was nothing else to compare it to, it was crazy. <coughs> I could, I'm, I'm thinking, I could be wrong, but I'm thinking that possibly during that time period, people probably looked at clouds and they looked at the shape of clouds. That probably was most of the stuff that they saw, you know, as far as visual imagery, clouds and stuff. They talked about that. Saw that clouds moving into the rain. And then we had rain and seen clouds. You know, so it was that kind of a thing. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's probably the first video. And like I say, you got to remember, they're kind of old, so uh, they probably won't they probably won't look exactly <laughs> like uh, the cartoons that you that you, you and I know. They probably won't look like that. <laughs> <laughs>